Yeah, I think deforestation is... That was my speaker, my left one. A good thing. I'm sorry. Protecting deforestation. See, it's like I'm against the bad stuff. It's like, geez, how many negatives do I have to think of this in? Planting trees is great. Preventing deforestation is also great. Um, and yes, state-funded prevention of deforestation is fantastic. National parks are spectacular. Global parks, international parks. The Arctic should be an international park. And you use pooled funds. Not all taxes are theft. Income tax is theft. All, it's coercion. The Federal Reserve is collecting interest on the loans it loans to the U.S. government. And our income tax is what's paying that interest. We didn't have income tax before like the 30s or something. 20s, I don't know. So that's kind of, uh, does it need to be there? I've been told the concept of the United States was whatever you made was yours. And then you still pay like sales tax, which I guess helps pay for like the roads and the military. You know, you pay like, you know, property tax and stuff like that. You know, you stay on these manicured roads with like a policed and fired uh, house society where, um, that's a good thing that like helps keep like you can walk around during the day and help people and do whatever you want and there's traffic laws you know the, the traffic lights that the water and power company like running water if you had to rely on a private company for your running water and they wanted to shut it off like Vanderbilt did with the trains in the 1850s you would change your mind I think it was that it was right around there give or take a decade uh, when a private this is why the government stepped in when a private he was basically the first private company the first guy that was bigger than any government financially that we know of in the United States and he uh, twisted the neck of the train system coming out of New York City and basically starved them all like just halted all the train traffic to like prove a point against Rockefeller. And the government was like, that can never happen again. So, Rock, uh. So they took his, uh. They took his Grand Central Station and made it city property at some point. I don't know how it happened. Um, maybe you would consider that theft if you were Vanderbilt. But what he did was arguably deserving of losing that power. So capitalism lets you really excel. But if you harm people, you're, it's up to the group to be like, no more. And in that way, socialism works. You need, you need to you know balance of socialism and capitalism. So I've read capitalism unchecked leads to fascism and socialism unchecked leads to communism so you need a balance of both and when it comes to public health and safety I feel like that's where socialism really should thrive education can help but like you know you can always have private universities and stuff but like there should be free public education health and education san sanitation um, internet, uh, running water, you know, basic housing. That stuff would be like, and you can always buy and build a house if you have want to buy and build the land. But it'd be nice if the government started 3D printing houses. I think it's just a matter of can the people get together and speak enough voices to decide what they want to do with the tax money. But a little bit of throwing in a little bit of whatever you're doing is like to make sure that all these things that you want to happen happen can be very freeing.